loves asparagus. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Nigel. Anything green gives him the runs. Actually, more like the projectiles. That little guy is at a sofa at 20 yards. <laughs> Sorry, Petal. Uh, where were we? You were telling that really interesting story. Yes, Kingsley. You know old man Kingsley from Acquisitions and Mergers? How he's so highly strung with every hostile takeover, he flirts with cardiac arrest. <laughs> Terrible anxiety. <laughs> well, yesterday, Kingsley found a used raincoat wrapped in a red ribbon on his desk. So he runs it into the bullpen, insisting the prankster step down. No one budged. <laughs> so he went round the office, making each one of us try on the raincoat until he got to me. Shouldn't we get the sorbet out? This is the best part, loving. It fitted like a glove. I was magnificently busted. Everyone thought I'd be sacked. But here's the thing. Kingsley pats me on the back, said it was the first time he'd laughed in eight months. <laughs> it's just like Cinderella's shoe poopy. Oh, it certainly is a fairy's tale. Fairy tale. That's what I said. Oh, oh, of course you get it, sweetheart. Raincoat, water off a duck's back, just let things go. <laughs> Blue. I like best about Nigel. His personality. should leave. I'm early. I'm early, right? I mean Europe. Get your mongrel and your comments and go back to New York. Oh, I'm sorry, but I just can't do that. You see, like I told you, I'm on a special assignment with Scotland Yard. Serious business. Well, we're in trouble then, aren't we? We certainly are, especially if you think that top goes with those pants. Is there anything that you are not an expert on? Oh, yeah, there's a lot of things. Take, for example, like why a 24-year-old woman would tell her mother she's at university when she's clearly not. Do you know anything about this subject? No, I wouldn't know anything about that. There you go. But I don't care, and it's none of my business. If you got hang-ups, that's fine. It is my flat. It is your mother's flat, which I rent. Now, I've already said it's OK for you to live here, and I meant it. Don't worry. Just make sure that rent's on time. Oh, my jeans. Nigel, I know we've had this dinner plan forever, but I don't know how late I'll be working. Can't you do it without me? If you don't come tonight, they're going to label me a pathological liar. Please, Fiona, Prudence is a dear friend. Maybe I'll wear pants. Seems you can't commit to anything these days. Dinner, a party, nothing. Can't even commit to nailing down a date for that timeshare in Provence. Uh, I thought we committed to not committing. Hello. <laughs> yes, lovely. I'm looking for Eddie Arlett, miss. I'm a very, very dear friend of his. Name of Rudy Alexander? You've probably heard him mention me. You look a little familiar. Oh, well, you probably recognize me from the television. I'm an actor. I'm sure you know my work. Light, bright toothpaste? It was a national ad on the television? Nationally? Oh. Well, um, is he in? No. No, I guess you haven't heard. There were some complications with his sex change operation. Yeah, he died. Tapioca! <laughs> Fiona doesn't eat tapioca. The consistency isn't for her. <laughs> <laughs> Darling. So, Kingsley 
<laughs> went round the office, making each one of us try on the raincoat. <laughs> Nigel, since Tarquin and Prudence don't know Kingsley, perhaps it's a little difficult to understand. <laughs> you all have to try on the raincoat. <laughs> <laughs> and it fit. <laughs> Nigel, you are clever. Didn't I tell you, Tarquin? I love ducks. <laughs> Beautiful birds. Fiona, when Nigel and I were flatmates, I told him the whole time, write these things down. Put a book together. Lou. Do you know what I love most about Nigel? His personality. Oh, oh. I'm going to beat you. <laughs> Are you now, naughty Nigel? <laughs> I am a regular swing darling. <laughs> I get the feeling Lady Luck is going to find me. <laughs> And there she is! <laughs> Very cross. Let me check. Do you remember? I didn't cheat. Yeah. The only game I've ever cheated in the <laughs> When Mr. Bun the Bake was lost at any point. You cheat. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because maybe she sees something that you don't. What's that supposed to mean? Well, two days ago, you're rolling your eyes at everything Nigel said. You're pushing him back as far into the closet as he can go, and now, poof, he rocks. Your back is up because somebody else likes him. Horse manure. Hey, one blonde's garbage is another's gold. Eddie Arlette. Mets one, Pete. Good morning. Oh, is it? Has your visa expired? Are you finished with that? What's what? My milk. Why, do you want the rest of it? What I just said, are you finished with it? Well, not if you want it. Just the two of us building castles in the sky. Ah, I get it. You're talking about Nigel and me, how brilliant. You see, there must be something very special about this milk for you to want it. So how can I just leave it there, even though I'm done with it? See, if you want it, I should probably make room for it. Otherwise, I'll just let it sit here and rot. You know, there are some things that he does that you can't see or pass judgment on. You know, he has a way of making me feel... Like you have the flu. Secure. Thank you. And you know what? He's kind and virtuous and funny. And maybe I've forgotten these things because one tends to get hung up on life, but I know they're there. Well, if that's enough for you, then I agree. I can't see everything. Are you agreeing because you believe that or because you just said it? No, I absolutely agree. There you go, something in common. In some countries, that would make us engaged. <laughs> April. What? April. You can book the timeshare in Provence for the 22nd of April. Sure. Positive. April in France is super. Hello, Eddie. Hey, Nigel. Hey, I'll leave you two guys. Oh, no, no, it's all right. Take a seat. I was just uh, checking the ticker. My stock's gone absolutely sky high. I heard. The euro, the dollar was up by a cent and the pound down by two. With regular market reports on the hour, this is Bloomberg News.